She's a very talented dancer, choreographer and actress, and she's made a name for herself in industry in a very short span of time. Please put your hands together for the very beautiful Daisy Shah. Hi, Daisy. Hello. Rajesh from Indus Age. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Thank you for giving us time. You have been the assistant of Ganesh Acharya. Then you ventured into Kannad movies. And then Salman Khan spotted you for the first Bollywood movie, Jai Ho. Could you tell us about the journey you went through? Uh, the journey has been really difficult, but uh, that's what they say. Na? If the journey is not difficult, you won't reap the fruits so well. So yeah, and I am a person who doesn't really plan things. I embrace uh, things coming to me with open arms and that's how my, you know, my life has been throughout. So uh, I'm not much of a planner. I am more of going with the flow and, and things just happen. Like uh, I had never thought of getting into the industry and it, it just started as a pocket money thing and then it became a profession. So I don't know when it became a profession, but it just became. See, dancers always make a, uh, the great stars. Look at Hema Malini, mm -hmm. Rekha. They were dancers and they did very well. Yep. You have been, you are not very old to Bollywood industry, but you're engraving your name in the industry through your performance on screen. Your comments on that. I, my only agenda is to uh, work better and do better things with the time. And that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to improve myself every day. Uh, I'm working hard towards proving my own self to me rather than the world outside because uh, I, I think if, I, if I'm not happy with myself, neither the world will be. So that's about it. It's just getting better and better and like, you know, the strife to getting better. That's it. The industry is witnessing a lot of woman-centric films. There are a lot of transformation. One can see off-bit commercial films doing well. What are your thoughts on that? That is a great thing. Like uh, earlier, there was a saying that, yeah, uh, Bollywood is male-dominating industry, but uh, thankfully we have a lot of uh, movies coming in which are women-centric and we have great actors like Priyanka Chopra and Deepika Padukone who are doing, uh, you know, female-oriented films. And uh, so it's, it's not only about the male dominance, I would say it is the girl also being the hero of the film. So it's a great thing and, and it just opens more and more doors for the girls who are just started with their career, like me. So. How do you deal with that? Because people will criticize you, some will love you. How do you deal with all this? All the negative comments, all the people, or the hatred uh, that I've got, I've just tried to turn it into positive uh, things for me. I think uh, I, I like literally follow the, the saying what they say that haters are your motivators. So that's what has kept me going, I would say. What is the best thing you like about the industry, Bollywood? You get to play a different characters, what you're not uh, in real life. Uh, and uh, like for an instance, Jai Ho, the girl, uh, Rinki, that particular character what I played. I'm not that person in real life. I'm a very, a very mellow person. I'm a very reserved person in real life. So yeah, that's one thing that I really like about this industry. And again, you get to visit a lot of exotic places and uh, you get to shoot there. And also I feel that industry makes you wiser because you know, you meet a lot of people, you need to, uh, you get that kind of understanding to your own self, uh, understanding other people, understanding their uh, rapport, understanding their nature. So it just makes you wiser that way. You're beautifully talented. And if I had to ask you the beauty regime you follow, your answer would be? Uh, workouts, I do not skip my workouts at all uh, because uh, they say that sweat is something that you really need to sweat it out every day and that makes your skin brighter. Uh, so workouts, yes, I eat healthy and uh, I drink lots and lots of water. Was Salman an influence on workouts? Uh, totally, yes. Because he is the diva for workouts. He is, he is, yes. When it comes to workouts, I don't think there's anybody who can give you better advice than him. You're a gifted dancer, a model and an actress. What is the thing you enjoy the most? Um, 
I enjoy all all three things because all three things has made me who I am today. So, be it a dancer or a model or an actor. So, an an actor needs to know how to dance. An actor needs to know how to pose. An actor needs to know how to face the camera. And I think dancing and modeling has helped me becoming an actor today. I've seen that while while you were shooting in the promo. I could uh. see your hands going. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I can't. I can't stand still. Like I have to talk more with my hands and my body than just be quiet and talk with my mouth. And I was sitting and watching. I said, "Okay, she is a dancer. That's the reason she could do it so nicely." You're coming to Australia for the first time for the D Bank tour. Uh, are you excited? I'm very much excited to perform. Uh, yes, because uh, <clears throat> this is the first tour I'm doing after. Becoming an actor, so uh, I'm super, super excited to perform. And yes, Australia. I've been to Australia before, but I have not performed. So yeah, it's like you know, connecting with the people there, knowing uh, you get to get the get the instant reaction, like the love and everything. So it's it's just so overwhelming. And uh, like obviously, I've not been there, but I've done shows in Mumbai and I've done shows in Dubai. So you know, the energy is something else. Will we expect? Are good dancing numbers coming in from of you as being yes, a crowd? Of course, yes, yes. I'm gonna dance my heart out. Salman Khan will be leading the Debank show uh, tour. How is he as a person and a co-star? Salman Khan, as a person, uh, keeping the superstar tag aside, he is a genuine person, a person who I just said earlier that I'm a person who strives to get better each day, and that is something that I've learned from him. So uh, it's just that uh, he knows that how to, you know, he tries to trigger that side of a person where the person has this thing in them that okay, uh, this is I'm just at fifty percent. I need to be hundred percent. So the race to become that hundred percent is what I've learned from him. Since you are a performer, a trained dancer, so what all in store for the audience in the bank tour? The bang tour is definitely going to be a bang uh, because the uh, first of all, all the artists who are going on the tour are. I don't think anybody is a bad dancer. Everybody is a good dancer, and uh, the lot of songs uh, there are going to be lot of dances, and of course Sanjay, he's going to make us dance really well on different genres, on different. Uh, I would say different type of dancing. So yeah, I'm pretty much excited to perform with all the artists on the Bang Tour, and also for the people whom we are going to perform there. The fans, do will you mingle with the fans? Of course, yes. That's what I said. Now that it's the inst instant reaction. So it's not that you are done with your dance and you are out. You you come on the stage, you interact with them. That is what the entire tour is about. Any message to the your fans in Australia? Um. I think message is something that I'm going to give you later, but right now it's that we are coming there to perform for you guys, so you guys better be there because we are really excited.